is up everybody this is Lyle no hippie trucking and transportation I'm still coming at you from the pilot in Russellville Arkansas had a little time on this load to relax and that's always good so I had something yesterday happen that uh, warmed my heart a little bit a lot of you guys know that one of my students that has a YouTube channel is really not doing as well as he would like to be doing and uh, is going to be quitting the trucking industry here shortly and I feel real bad about that. Of all the people that I've trained I thought he was like the most well-rounded, prepared and ready to go just because I had so much time to spend with him going through PSD training and then our TNT training. We weren't really running that hard so there was a little bit more time on those loads to where we were able to get kind of into details a little bit more. You know, my last student, Juwan, we ran harder than I think I even ran with when I was with my trainer and that was running hard. Almost all of our loads were loads that you just could not stop on, bunch of high value loads, bunch of uh, FedEx loads and then uh, even a uh, a flower load not a where you're delivering to 14 places just a flower load from one facility to another facility so we we're running hard and by the time it was time for him to get off his truck I'd suggested listen how about I slow this truck down tell him to back us down to like super solo or even solo and then you know we can fine-tune this back in and stuff like that and uh, he said you know I've been away from home for so long I just rather just get off the truck and go home and I was like you know what I respect it I, I wasn't necessarily sure that that was the right move but uh, I respected it and uh, one good thing about him was very attention to detail and he uh, took a lot of notes and he uh, once I told him you know I try to show the people that question how to back or or trying to learn how to back to go check out this uh, YouTube channel called my trucking skills so he spent a lot of time on that and what that does is it kind of teaches you angles things like that anyway enough of that so I'm in Murfreesboro, Tennessee yesterday, and uh, General Mills, I believe it was General Mills. Anyway, I'm checking in, and you know, once you done, you're done checking in, they tell you where to drop the trailer, where to pick up the trailer. So there's a prime intermodal truck in front of me, so I'm sitting back waiting for that person to park, and so I can get by and park and. I see the prime driver put it right in the spot. I was like, yeah, you go, boy. You know what I'm saying? So, sorry to say you know what I'm saying. But I was like, yeah, you go. So I pull up, I look in the truck, and uh, it's my old student, Juwan. So, popped his head out, had a little bit of conversation, told him I could hit him up and give him a call. Now, he had gone intermodal, local, whatever that is out of uh he lives in west memphis so he took that local run and he seems to like it says that uh the money that he's making is life-changing so i was i was glad to hear that and from what he said he's doing to be a local run i think it's a good deal i'm not sure i would necessarily like to be home every day if i was running that hard because it just seemed like as soon as I go home, I'd be turning around, leaving back out. But it was just good to hear that he was doing well because I've been a little emotionally drained by what's happening with uh, Eric at Land Shark Transportation. You know, it's rough seeing people go through hard times, especially when you kind of internalize them yourself. But, uh, you know, it was good to see him doing good and it was good to hear him repeat back things that I said in training 
that made me realize that not that everything I said just did not go over his head. It was very rewarding to uh, see that. So uh, he also told me, and this is funny, if you, he also told me that uh, he's not sitting as high in his seat as you, he used to sit in his seat. And he said, uh, I know he's watching this video now. Uh, he said he's not even sure how he even sat that high in his seat. It feels so uncomfortable now. So uh, good seeing him out there. Listen, if you're thinking about coming to Prime or you're at Prime and you live in some of these places where intermodal is, might be something to, to look into. I mean, I don't think that you're necessarily going to be crushing it, crushing it, but it's very predictable work especially if you're coming out of like you know the Tennessee area stuff like that you're really not going to be dealing with weather quite as much as you know some of the other locations potentially but uh, seemed like a pretty good gig so uh, one thing that I would like a little bit is a little bit more predictability what to expect when you go to shippers receivers all that kind of stuff and since you're doing it the same place all the time you just get into a routine so he's gone company and I don't know anything about lease intermodal but he was possibly thinking about making that move and I was just making sure to tell him what you're giving up by going lease than company but uh, you know he's at the perfect age one of the things that we used to always talk about in training was money relationships with money credit things like that and uh, he even, list, he even threw some of the stuff back at me that I spoke about in training when we were talking about uh, the money. And he said, I'm still saving money from when I was back in TNT. So I just felt, I just felt real good about that, especially, you know, like I said, after seeing what's going on with, with my last student. But, um, uh, really just wanted to uh, kind of put that out there let uh, everybody know a lot of this is about perspective you know he says that the money is life-changing and he is you know he's coming from a position where the money is life-changing so he's kind of able to scale up like that a lot of times if you're coming into this and you aren't you know you have made as much or more money maybe it's not going to be life changing maybe it could even be a step back and one of the things that my last student he just put out a video or not my last one Eric Landshark Transportation he was talking about the predictability of money coming in or paychecks and things like that and that is one thing that is overlooked and I have mentioned it before a long time ago but you know I came out of I don't think I've been paid a steady paycheck that wasn't commission based since 1991 so I've been commissioned sales or getting paid as we say you know eating what I kill for the last you know since most people have been alive that are trucking what was that 91 so 91 2001 11 over 30 years commission sales and it's just something that I've got used to and it is a different mindset it's a mindset that makes you have to makes you have to plan a little bit more it's a mindset that makes you have to save a little bit more for those for those times that you may not be making money or whatever but uh you know if you're th and that could be company drivers at prime as well because that's not predictable either so I, w I didn't necessarily want to talk about that in this video but I just thought about what he had said in his last video so if predictable paycheck is what you want this is not the place for you anyway Just wanted to share that experience with everybody. I do appreciate you stopping by 
No hippie trucking and transportation as always. Comment, subscribe. I'm out.